Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Um, yeah, I'm still rolling out March readings and it's like the 20th of March. I'm sorry, life happens. So, I don't know who's next. We're just gonna draw the card off the top of the pile here and press our luck. So, who's up? <clears throat> Gemini. Looks like you get your reading. Alright. Yeah, this deck. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. March 2021, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to good if you choose to do with the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs if you think you might want something that may resonate a little better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can be, but vice versa might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the first Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. So, if you like what you see, you can go ahead and hit the like button. I'm not going to twist your arm. I'm, I'm not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. But it would be very much appreciated if you'd like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Oh, okay couple things before I say the invocation I throw your cards down Gemini one it's not your reading if it's not your story if it's not your message if it's not vibing with you leave the cards on the table and walk away it's fine it might not be your story these readings can't possibly resonate with every Gemini that's not how this works okay that takes us back to the check your moon rising your Venus sign reading it depends on where you're at as to what's going to vibe with you better. So, two, never, ever make any major life-altering decisions based on a tarot reading. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus, March 2021. Okay, that's telling me they don't want to be shuffled anymore. One more. Spirit guides, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. Let's bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good. Gemini, why are you here? The hair thing. Well, I'll be darned. That's a pretty cool card. He marries people and stuff. This is the card that represents blessed unions. It can also represent like those teaching moments in life. So we'll just see what the rest of the cards have to say. I mean, either way. If, if you're fixing to get hitched, or if you're in the middle of some kind of weird teaching moment, you know? The universe is working with you. Either way. Alright, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Four of Swords. Hmm. Maybe they're in like a rest period. going through the cards of the tarot they tell a story card by card if the three is the card of heartbreak the four is the card of taking a break it's resting maybe you feel like they're resting maybe you feel like you need to sleep on some things in the situation I don't know I don't know I'm not you what do you think of them hmm, Queen of Cups reversed I'm thinking this is a teaching moment, guys. Okay, so the Queen of Cups in the upright, she's like, it's like cookies and milk at grandma's. It's perpetual love. It's, the cup is always full. In the reverse, not so much. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you think the cup is empty or... Maybe you're having some emotional withdrawal from the situation. I don't know. Again, I'm not you. I'm not there. I'm just playing cards. What do you want from them? Magician reversed. Oh, no. This is a card of manipulation. It can be a card of just things not manifesting. But it can also represent somebody pulling puppet strings. Why is this in the want category? This is why we clarify. How do they feel about you? 
Queen of Pentacles reverse. Oh, sorry. That's wow. I can't read upside down. Queen of Wands reversed. Oh well. There's no passion. There's no fire. There's no forward movement. Queen of Wands. She represents all these things. Passion. Fire. Moving forward. Let's do this. Let's run this. Something's not moving here. Possibly they lost the passion. Or they think you did. This is turning into more and more of a teaching moment by the card here. I, what do they think of you, Gemini? Page of Wands reversed. Well... There's no communication. I'm catching a feeling that this was like running hot, running hot, running hot, and then just came to a stop. Hmm. Okay, really? This darn thing, it, it tries to clean itself completely at random and then I yeah I, I hit a wrong button so we're good we're still tracking okay what do they want from you Gemini six of pentacles reversed six of pentacles reversed something isn't equal something isn't fair Hmm. Hmm. Again, why are you in the want category? What's the obstacle here? The wheel. a great card. It's a ten. Tens represent endings and new beginnings. It represents the closing of cycles. It can also represent karmic connections, i.e. those teaching moments that the universe gives us every once in a while. Hmm. Possible resolution. King of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Save this for the end. Hmm. Let's get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Gemini, please? Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, who decided to come hang out? Six of Cups reversed. Hmm. Somebody may have a salty taste in their mouth about this. We'll see if it comes back out. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarity on the cards on the table for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. March 2021. Pentacles. This darn thing. You can clean later. Well, that's promising.
The Ace of Pentacles is the first of ten. Slow moving energy. Could possibly mean that this karmic connection, well obviously karmic connections are usually meant to happen because those, those are the teaching moments that come into our lives that our, our souls are supposed to learn. It's the lesson. Hmm. One more on that Ace of Pentacles. Why the Ace of Pentacles? This could be bringing you to where you're supposed to go. King of Cups. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is a lesson in emotion. Why the Four of Swords? Oh, well. Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. How you feel about them? That tells me there's potential. There's potential to keep pushing through and keep trucking along, but something needs to be closed out first. Something needs to be laid to rest. What the Nine of Wands? You want to talk. Ten of Pentacles. Yep. There's definitely potential. They got what you want, Gemini. You definitely see potential for that Ten of Pentacles in a few years. That big brick house with a white picket fence and a nice car out front and the pool, the 2.5 kids, the dog, you know, whatever your dream is. I mean, it's my dream. I mean, not the 2.5 kids part, but, you know, you get my drift. It's what everybody wants, and you feel this about them. The potential is there. But something needs to be laid to rest first. It's, it's chill time. Okay. Now, obviously, if the obstacle here is the wheel... Something needs to close itself out first. Why the Queen of Cups reversed? Or what Gemini thinks of the person they're dealing with? Why? Hi. Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's what you think of them. They bring you emotional fulfillment, but they're emotionally withdrawn. One more. Hi, Five of Cups. They're emotionally withdrawn because they need to close something out. Something still has them sitting on the shore of tear-filled ocean somewhere. It's really hard to see the two, two, uh, the two full cups. The two full cups when you got spilled ones laying there. It's hard to see the potential of the ten when all you see is the knockdown cups. Hmm. 
All right, why the magician reversed for what Gemini wants of, for, or from? Of, for, or from? Oh, 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 it was dog on it. It was in the upright. We're taking it in the upright. I don't care. Two cups. One more. Four of Cups. It's not manifesting. You want it to manifest. I have a cup for you. I have a cup for you. Mm -hmm. I know you're still staring at those three, wondering if they'll ever be full again. I have a cup for you. I have a full cup for you. Look at that. Your full cup and my full cup makes two full cups. That's five full cups. Come on. We're halfway to ten right now. I think you just want to be acknowledged. Okay. Well, obviously you have a lot of love to give and you see the potential here. But unfortunately, well, you might not be the one in the middle of the soul lesson, Gemini. It might be them. Hmm. So what's your soul lesson? We'll find that out in a minute. Can I get a card on this Queen of Wands reversed for how the other person feels about Gemini? Hi. Lovers reversed. Mm. Why are the lovers reversed? Six of Wands. Why the Six of Wands? Six of Swords. That's somebody hanging on to a possibility of somebody returning. That's somebody who hasn't closed a lesson or hasn't closed a cycle out yet. And one should never start a new cycle without closing out an old one because that is not how this works. That only gets people hurt. Hmm, boy. Mm, boy. <clears throat> <clears throat> they ain't sparking nothing right now. <clears throat> Pardon me. Scratchy throat. Oh, hi. Three of Pentacles. Well, that's, that's the found. You know, I'm going to take it. That's the foundation of something new and wonderful. It's more Pentacles, anyway. Maybe you're dealing with an Earth sign. I don't know. Everybody on the board right now. Why is the page of wands reversed here? What the, what the other person thinks of Gemini? Why is the page of wands reversed here? Hi! Sideways strength. Take it up right. Why not? Why strength? of swords holding back withholding communication withholding messages of well something something possibly I mean doesn't necessarily have to be but definitely withholding some kind of communication 
trying not to be emotional. So, withholding emotions, trying to be logical about the whole thing. They're withholding communication from their Gemini. This card can represent Gemini, by the way, the King of Swords. Represent an air sign, really, but it's a big Gemini card for me. Holding back. So either they're holding back from you or they think you're the one holding back. I don't think you're the one holding back. I think they're definitely holding back from you, though, Gemini. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? For what the other person wants of for or from Gemini, six pentacles reversed. Why the six pentacles reversed? Seven of Swords. Oh. Oh my. Couldn't be some dirty pool going on. It is the Lying, cheating, sneaking around, dude. And I mean, I mean, to me, to me, it also represents um, leaving something behind and figuring out how you're going to go back for it because he can only carry five swords. He had to leave two behind. Why is seven of swords? You want to talk. Queen of Swords! So we want honest communication about what's going on with those other two swords, apparently. Hmm. Maybe they want to be able to tell you what's going on with their other two swords. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm not you. But Gemini, they want this and for whatever... You're, I'm sorry. You want this for whatever reason. They're holding back. Don't know why. Why is the wheel here? Why is the wheel here? Queen of Pentacles. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Gosh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's the catch. Karma reversed. Something's got to close out. Something cool about this Queen of Pentacles. She can pretty much have anyone she wants. He, she... Whatever your pronoun is, I mean, the sex of the card doesn't matter. It, it's it's the emotion behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's the energy behind the card. Closure. Someone coming into their own. Someone gaining their independence. Oh, and she's holding a pentacle. She's holding the pentacle. It might be that one. I think she hasn't decided who she's offering it to yet. Again, never mind the pronoun. He, she, it, whoever. Why karma reversed? Eight of Cups. When we walk away from something, we move towards something else. The obstacle is somebody had to walk away. Six of 
somebody could still be in the process of walking away from something very painful. In the process of closing something out. It hasn't, hasn't been done yet. I am done beating that dead horse. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed? The possible resolution. Why the King of Pentacles reversed? Empress reversed. <clears throat> this is telling me don't force feed it. Nine of Pentacles. Don't force feed it. Don't overwater it. Let it see what it's going to do on its own. I know, Gemini, it's hard. I know. Trust me, I know. When you see something, you go after it. And you keep going after it. And you keep going after it. And you keep going after it. I know. You're worse than Sagittarians in that regard sometimes. But that's okay. One more. Eight of Wands reversed. Don't push this. Don't try to push it. Don't try to hurry it. Don't overwater it. Don't overfeed it. Let it be. Let it do what it's going to do. They got to finish their process, Gemini. We gotta let them finish. Might not be time yet. I mean, you got the Hierophant. That, that's... I, I love the dual meaning cards. It's like a double-edged sword sometimes. This is not your karmic lesson. This is not your soul lesson. It's theirs. And you have to let them finish their lesson. If you push this, it might not work out. You gotta let it have its time. You have to let that pinnacle grow into what it's supposed to grow into. Okay. Resolution. Sorry. Outcome. Nine of Pentacles. Can I get one on this Nine of Pentacles, please? Ten of Wands reverse, Two of Swords. Yeah. You have to let them get to the point when, oh gosh, that's interesting. I'm, that's weird that this one's the one that fell out, four pentacles reversed. You have to let them get to a point where they're ready to release it, if they're going to. But you have to let them make that decision. Don't force it. Don't feed it. Don't water it. Leave it alone. Leave the house plan on the back porch. Just leave it alone. <clears throat> Pretend you're cooking rice. Have, have any? Maybe some of you know how to cook rice. I know it's a hard one to master. I was in my 30s when I finally mastered it. And my mother's, my mother, my mother's big thing was, 
boil the water, put the rice and the butter in it, stir it, put the lid on it, turn it down to medium high, and walk away for 20 minutes. Leave the pot alone. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. <laughs> leave the pot alone. Okay? Just leave the pot of rice on the stove and let it do whatever it's going to do. It won't burn. If you don't take the lid off, it won't burn. Okay. Enough babbling. Let's get your advice. Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles. It might seem like a long, cold wait. But if you don't give it its time, you might end up out in the cold. Don't push it. The star in the reverse and the five of swords. Oh my. Don't get that energy all negative. Or you might be the one walking off the battlefield empty handed. Seven of cups, three of cups, that's ten cups all together, but as long as you allow them to keep their options open and them to make the decision and keep things cordial, it might just be safe to just be friends for now. We keep going back to the don't push it, don't push it, don't push it. Okay. Five of swords reverse, nine of swords upright. Don't stress. This is not your stress. This is not your battle to deal with. Don't stress about somebody else's battle. Don't stress about somebody else's pieces. It's not your pieces. All right, Gemini, I love you guys. Thanks for coming by. Be blessed. I got to put a kid to bed and I got to put myself to bed because I have to get up very, very early. But I'm getting out of work early tomorrow, so I'm hoping to be able to get some more readings done tomorrow and hoping to be able to get this set of readings closed out so I can start my new Zodiac year and start it over with Aries. Okay. Take care. I'll catch you later.